Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to participate in a meeting of the Pontifical Academy of Science representing a university from Latin America, showcasing what we are doing to make the Anthropocene sustainable. As you can see, I'm very optimistic about uh, our, our time. The University of Sao Paulo is a Brazilian university located in the state of Sao Paulo, which funds its operations. The state of Sao Paulo is the most developed state in Brazil and, the re is, re and is responsible for one third of the country's GDP. In addition to the state capital, the university has campus in several cities throughout the interior. USP is the largest university in Brazil, with around 9,000 students and is responsible for training a significant portion of the country's qualified human research, as well as contributing to, to any of Brazil's scientific production. Brazil is currently facing uh, challenging times regarding climate change. In southern Brazil, we experienced unprecedented flooding at the beginning of the year. Meanwhile, the rest of the country is enduring an intense dry season, leading to wildfires across all Brazilian states, including the Amazon region, where rivers have reached the alarming low levels for this time of the year. To collaborate with society, we are undertaking two main initiatives making our campuses more sustainable by generating renewable energy and reducing overall energy consumption, managing solid waste and improving water usage. We aim to set an example for our cities. Additionally, we have created interdisciplinary thematic centers to develop sustainable solutions for both companies and the public sector. I'd like to mention six of the centers one for sustainable technologies in offshore oil exploration, one for sustainable tropical agriculture, one for carbon research in agriculture, one research center for greenhouse gas innovation, one center for artificial intelligence, and one center for studies on Amazon sustainability. The offshore center has five major research areas, some of, some of some of which connect sustainability to artificial intelligence, analyze data from ocean engineering, and creating simulations in virtual realities for platform operations. One project involves developing vertical turbines for operation in deep waters to generate renewable energy for platform operations. Another project focuses on floating nuclear microreactors for energy generation in deep waters. Digital monitoring systems are being developed to track platform activities, identify risks, risks and prevent accidents while optimizing operations. Stack focuses on four major areas to improve tropical agriculture. The first area is the domestication of macaúba, a native plant in Central and South America Studies are underway to understand the plant's biology and needs, with plans to a huge commercial plant in southern Bahia, in Brazil. The fruit of this palm has oil that could potentially be converted into sustainable aviation fuel due to its high energy content. Another project aims to expand irrigable agriculture in Brazil, increasing productivity and reducing the need for new agricultural land by studying water potential, soil types, crops, and the best agricultural models for each situation. Another initiative propo proposes increasing connectivity in rural areas to enable digital inclusion. Digital inclusion and artificial intelligence will allow enhanced agricultural productivity, real-time monitoring of agricultural machinery, and environmental protection. The final initiative involves providing technical support for a green seal, seal Brazil that assures consumers that these products adhere to sustainable agriculture principles, thus reducing the commercialization of products that result from uh, deforestation or improper practice. If deforestation-related products are not marketed, this practice will likely be phased out. 
sea carbon and to reduce emissions and increase carbon capture. It's a strategy in based on climate change mitigation, food security, a low carbon economy, and social development. The first in initiative focused on develop in developing a project to establish a baseline for carbon in Brazil, whether in the soil, plants, or air, by analyzing, analyzing approximately 250,000 samples across all Brazilian biomes. A second project aims to accelerate the recovery of degraded coastal areas using new technologies, new technologies to promote root growth. Evaluation kits have been developed to assess the physical, chemical, and biological properties of soil in field assessment. Now I will present RCGI. The first project involves converting ethanol into green hydrogen. Ethanol derived from sugarcane is widely used in Brazil, and its energy utilization can be enhanced by using hydrogen in more efficient engines. A pilot plant will produce 100 kilograms of hydrogen per day, which will be utilized in buses and cars on the USP campus to assess the efficiency of this proposal. Another pilot project studied the production of methanol from CO2 emitted by ethanol plants. Since methanol has a higher energy content than ethanol, it can be used in larger vehicles than those using ethanol. A prototype for hydrogen production through other catalysis using solar energy is being developed. This is a well-known reaction, but further studies are needed to make it economically viable. Another possibility is, is the development of solid oxide fuel cells capable of converting ethanol to hydrogen, which can subsequently be converted into electricity. The vehicle would be fueled by ethanol at conventional stations, with the transformation occurring internally in the vehicle. Now I will present the artificial, artificial intelligence center. At least three of its areas of studies are strongly related to sustainability. The study of oceans, climate studies to predict extreme events, and decision making related to food production and food security. Finally, oops, just a second. <laughs> Finally, I will, present, I will present the Center for Amazon Region. The goal is to promote production and dissemination of science related to education, research, culture for sustainable dev development, development of the Amazon Region, taking into account its biodiversity, the complexity of social, physical, chemical, biological process, ethnic and population diversity, as well as socioeconomic issues. Thank you for the opportunity to present our initiatives for making the Anthropocene sustainable.